Hey, what's up guys? It's finally great to be back and making videos again. Alright, uh, I got myself a new toy but before I get into this, let me just take a minute and just share with you that what I've been doing for the past two months that I've been away uh, is actually I've been filming for a Singapore International Film Festival. Um, uh, it's a project that we call the Pianist Paradigm. I'm not gonna release it yet until we finalize everything and then the competition has gone through. We are now actually awaiting the whether we've been uh, accepted into the competition. Okay, I was mainly the um, cameraman, DP, director of photography, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all right, so, so mainly I was handling the camera and then I realized that this is what I um, want to go further in into the hobby and, and then let me explore this. Okay, so I, I'll, you'll, you'll see me make more videos about cinematics and all that. Okay, but that's all just say all right just wait out for the videos till the next vlog eh <laughs> till the next video okay actually for my vlogging i think i don't want to call it vlogging anymore because i'm not really like vlogging on a daily basis it's just like some things that come about and i just want to make videos i need to pick up traction in the youtube community yeah so i'm going to create other kinds of videos i'm just going to test out a few styles along the way right it may may not be about drones or e-skates or whatsoever i'm just going to Okay, let's have a look. The Ether LED remote is set in black and has this matte rubberized feel to it. LCD is clear and displays info like write modes, speeds and battery life. New feels on this upgraded remote is that the thumb wheel has longer travel which I guess should give better modulation to the speed and braking control. On the minimalist design, there are only two buttons which do allow me to access all the upgraded settings. Powering up the remote, a haptic feedback response lets me know that my board is connected. A single press to the power button toggles motor direction and speed button lets me choose the speed settings. To toggle between the four braking strengths, I just pull back the thumb wheel and press the speed button. Something new that I really appreciate is an option for cruise control. Um, this lets me lock in the current ride speed so that I don't have to hold on to the thumb wheel. This is especially useful for those long stretches and I can release the cruise control anytime I roll the thumb wheel in any direction. Remote battery life is also reflected on the screen and the remote conveniently charges on the go via micro USB when bed runs low. Speed shown has been calibrated based on boards with a 90mm motor wheel and soon may come in as standard issue for boards with this motor size. And from what I heard as an upgrade, good news too for those running 70mm board setups, a version is being calibrated and will be coming in soon although in future sales of boards, this may not be coming in the package as a standard issue. And so that's just it about the new remote by Ether Skateboards. Um, for the price point, it's like it is packing in a lot of new features, useful features. Should you, should you not go and buy it? Go ahead, go get it and then let me know in the comments about what is your experience with the new remote, right? Uh, for me, I'll just need some time to hook it up and then probably I'll make another video in a future review. Alright, till the next one. See ya.